Apparently, thanks to the guy in the comment saying, yes, pandas can be carnivores. They just choose not to be. So thanks for the fun fact. Yeah, I was like, I was, I was, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, why am I even asking Taylor? Like, I'm sure she knows what she's talking about, but I can just go to Google, right? Like, like I thought about it. I was like, okay, I'll just go to Google. And yeah. then... Uh, I think online zoology classes you can take. But the problem is, I just remembered, Google, you have to believe what's written there. It could be from a troll. could be from this, like, high trusted source. But when I Googled our pandas carnivores uh, or, or herbivores, uh, I could not find a trusted site. But a lot of them did confirm that they're they're kind they are carnivores, uh, like uh, like uh, anatomy wise. But they choose not to. I guess I'm, I'm not really sure how it works. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing too. Along with this article, ham how bamboo eating pandas trick their bodies into thinking they're carnivores. I guess that's really a thing. All I remember right. is I distinctly remember a science class when I was in K through 12, which where we did talk about pandas and how they eat only bamboo and that's why they're herbivores. So you know what? It's the American school system. We already know it's flawed. Like, but I, what can you say? <laughs> yeah, thanks NA, NA education here. Um, but yeah, so thank you for the uh, comment. You made me open my horizons and looked up, uh, you know, that, that important question of pandas, right? And- uh, <laughs> Thank you to Secret Agent Lucario for that comment. <laughs> Secret Agent. Okay. Cool name, by the cool way. Name. Cool name. Uh, but yeah, this episode. Uh, Wakasuku. I wasn't able to take notes when I watched it. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -mm. So uh, I remember so yeah. everything, but not the order. Okay. So uh, basically, this episode was focused on Riz, the, the bear. Uh, mm -hmm. The one that did the devouring of Tim. And mm -hmm. uh, basically... You know, he's trying to go back to his quiet life. He's trying to enjoy lunch with his friends. But, uh, you know, apparently ever since he uh, he ate Tem, like, he just hasn't been the same. Like, not, he can't really taste anything anymore. And then they also hinted it as well when he was cooking for his friends. He was like, hey, you know, like, for some reason, like, this flavoring is really strong. But I still love your cooking. And then that's when he says that he can't uh, taste anything anymore. And then it just focuses on the fact that Logosi is still trying to stop uh riz uh like with his own sense of just, uh, justice like uh like stopping him his way and then you know you can't forget that you know pina is also involved uh since he is the one that's kind of being the the smooth talker between the two and you know like riz is slowly starting to lose it you know he goes after pina because he doesn't want to lose his like normal life right and then like in his head the relationship that he had with ten before he ate him or even the uh, that that moment itself, like the devouring, like it was a romantic, uh, like a uh, romantic yeah. scenario in a sense, oh. mm -hmm. right? Where it's like you know, like it was beautiful. We fully embraced each other. He understood me. I understood him. That's why he let me eat him. You know, stuff like that. So really cycle shit. And coming from this this uh, this bear, like he has this face where you just can't think of him as like an evil creature right like you think he's, he's innocent he's cuddly you know he can do no wrong um but yeah he's he's trying to live that normal life and he tries to silent pina and uh you know pina being the smooth talker that he is he's not really strong so he was able to kind of talk his way out of it but when like push came to shove and like riz like uh threatened him in a sense by sucking on his finger or or telling him that oh you know i'm gonna eat you or whatever like it did spook pina a little bit but uh you know being the smooth talker that he is he just uh tells riz in a way through acting that he's not afraid you know go ahead and do what you must but i'm gonna live my life the way i am or the, the way that i intend to and when he tries to set up riz somehow with a letter um uh, legosi was told by pino what happened so legosi tries to stop it but that's when he came into contact with riz and they had this uh this brawl and uh i don't know it's, it's really weird uh the animation was really nice with the fighting, but like in the middle of the fight or when they were done, they were trying to like play innocent because there was a janitor there as well. And that and janitor got so it, lucky that he was right. like able to rein it in. I thought for sure she was going to be a goner. <laughs> yeah. So in the middle of the fight, right? Like they're breaking the walls, breaking the mirrors because the, uh, they're fighting in the like in the boys uh, bathroom in the locker room and mm -hmm. they're fighting in the showers. Yeah, there's a little old lady, like, Riz noticed that she was there. So, like, he runs towards her with that, like, scary face that he has when he's serious. Mm -hmm. And you think that the old lady is dead, right? But, no, he just, you know, like, pulls a full 180, takes away, like, uh, goes back to his normal face. And it's like, you know, I'm sorry, we're still here. Can you leave us alone? You know, blah, blah, blah. 
And then, like, everything just goes back to normal. Like, Gosi and Riz are having this normal conversation saying, you know, like, we'll finish this some other time. Um, but Lagosi is like just like reiterating the fact that I'm not gonna let you go. Like I trained for this, you know. And then uh, for some reason the fight comes to a stalemate, and they say, "Okay, New Year's Eve. That's that's when we'll finish this." It was really weird. Yeah. So like the the pace is really weird. Like the fighting, like uh, plot wise, it was really weird. But I guess now we have like a uh, like a like a time as to when the conclusion is gonna happen. Uh, so we had until New Year's apparently. So. Yeah, like I, I haven't, I didn't really have any issues with the flow of the fight. It was different than what I'm used to seeing, but it kind of made sense to me that they'd be interrupted. And then with that, with her having diffused the tension for a second there, I can see, I can see why it played out the way that it did. Uh, but yeah, the I don't really know why they pulled New Year's out like as the date to solve this, but whatever, I guess. Yeah, unless he means. Unless there's like something that we completely forgot, like is that when yeah. the the show is supposed to take place, or is there? They wouldn't do it uh, on the day of the show, though. I mean, I don't, you, you never know. Like maybe, <laughs> right? I, I don't know. I'm not part of the school. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. That was off. But otherwise, I'm trying to think if there was other uh, really anything. There wasn't really that much to digest. Like the fight scene took up a lot of the episode this time. It did. Uh, they did have like a small moment dedicated to. Um, Lewis's guardian, mm -hmm. like the lion guy, like mm -hmm. he gave one of his colleagues a gun and says, if I ever like mm -hmm. lose my senses and I try to eat the boss, you know, shoot me or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe something's happening to him, but they didn't really focus on that too much. So we don't know what's going on. I do think that he's going to play a uh, critical role somehow because like, like I mentioned it before, like how the ending is like just Lewis and, and that guy. Yeah, it right, just so. seems like <laughs> there'll be something that happens there. I just don't really quite know what yet. I actually wish that we spent a little bit more time with the lions because I would think that the dynamic that they're going through would be just very interesting. Like to see how each of them feels about Lewis, like mm. how they feel about the black market, like what their goals are. Like I just, I wish we spent more time with them, but Mm -hmm. what can you do yeah i guess that's i like the fact that they're trying to branch out and give you different plots but mm -hmm. or different stories but uh you know being 12 episodes or whatever and you're trying to have like two different arcs going it, it's kind of hard to keep track or you probably won't get the satisfying conclusion that you want um by the end of the season so oh i uh, think we're gonna have a satisfying conclusion yeah, but for both characters, because I, I always think of, like, Louis, Haru, and Lagosi as the main characters, mm -hmm. right? Are we just going to focus on Lagosi or focus on Louis, you know? I think it's going to be both. I think it, they're going to have to come together to do this. I think they're, they're going to be satisfied in the same by the same plot element. I just, again, don't know what it'll be yet. That's my gut feeling. Uh, I find it hard to believe, because, like, Lagosi is more focused on, like, the school life, and then Louis is focused on, like, the black market story, right? So... I really don't know how that's going to come together unless for some reason Lewis captures Haru again and then Lagosi has to like go after her and you know just Lewis captures Haru? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He's he's in charge of the organization that did it before, so you know, <laughs> like why wouldn't he do it again? I don't know. Like, we'll see. But but Lagosi did ask Lewis to come back to the school and said that he needed him. So maybe he'll go back to the school and to help resolve all this devouring stuff before he goes back to the black market. Because so, nothing really needs to be resolved in the black market right now, you know? Uh, yeah, not I think that's I true. I mean, yeah, it's not just like side stories in a sense, you know? I mm -hmm. guess. So, I guess that's I think true. he's going to go back. That's what I think. Can't what about what about Cosmo? You can't forget about Cosmo. You know, you can't just introduce this stripper girl and then, you know, have her show interest in Lewis and just have her like gone forever, you know? like. Well, there was also Juno, although I don't know if that was like showing interest or not. Because remember, Juno saw him there. She knows that he's there, and they had their little dance moment. Ah, uh, no one cares about Juno. It's okay. <laughs> I have to admit, I liked Cosmo too. <laughs> Cosmo's where it's at, you know. Yeah, but... Juno's just not making it work for me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, like I said, I mean, I'm just biased, but uh, I mean, it's it's whatever. I, I, if they do manage to merge the the two stories together, I think that'll be pretty amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. But I guess we'll see how how it works. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's all I've got. You got anything more cool? Uh, what do you? What are your thoughts on the animation so far? Because for some, like, I don't know why, but for CGI, this is probably like the best animation I've seen for a fight scene. 
mm-hmm. and, and like in all the CGI enemies I've ever watched. So, but my, uh, I guess my, um, I have a low standard when it comes to animation, so I don't know what your <laughs> thoughts were. I guess. Dude, I was, gonna good say, or not. I was gonna say the same thing. Like, Stratton gives me shit all the time about how like my standard for animation isn't high enough, or I can't tell the difference between things. I think it's beautiful. Like, I have absolutely no issues with any of the animation in this entirety of seasons one or two. I think it's great. I mean, honestly, I think it. The whole show is more attractive to me and flows better than like attack on titan not to give it hate there's enough of that out there already but right um j- just like in comparison like i i i watch this show and i'm just like in awe of how pretty it is there's, even with the fight scene too yeah it's pretty and smooth which is really mm-hmm. nice so mm-hmm. uh yeah just just want to point it out like i thought i was gonna like bomb in the animation department once they started fighting or brawling but it yeah did not. I, was, I was really surprised it was actually like top notch in my yeah. in my standard so yeah, I completely uh, agree. I like I feel like a lot of people have a lot of thoughts about the show like before they start watching it, but I feel like once people actually start watching it, the animation doesn't bother them. Hmm. I haven't heard any like from people in my personal life, I haven't been seeking out people's opinions on the internet regarding that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I haven't known anybody in real life who's had any issue. I mean, I know uh, some lot. people who hate it because it's animals like furries, but it's like Oh yeah. Well, yeah, that's different. Like, so what if it's an animal? Like, what makes it so weird? So is this the first thing you've ever seen where it's, like, animals as people rather than humans? Like, I, I don't see what the problem is. Yeah, you've all say, seen it. I was going to say, a Go lot ahead, of people David. praise the animation, so I haven't really seen any backlash for it. They say it's, like, yeah. 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 It's just different. Oh, yeah. Uh, that That's all I had for this week. Same. I'm just going to throw shade at Stratton because I'm pretty sure he doesn't give the show a shot because it's all animals. <laughs> Yes, that's exactly yeah. why. It's all Grow animals, and it's all CG, Grow and he's just like, right? no. The main issue is it's all animals and nothing to deal with the CGI. No, okay, sir. It's all it's all the CGI, guys. I, I, I'm fine with the animals. Okay, what do you say, sir? I'm telling you the truth. I don't care it's animals. That's, that's <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, right, so whatever. Back to... <laughs> yes. I was afraid of that slippery slope. <laughs> So that's going to be it for Beastars this week. Move on to our next show.